eccoci qui fuori dalla piantagione dei grey andiamo a, di... a farci vedere ok e facciamo casino a Caliga Hall andiamo a presentarci ai signori locali vediamo un po' This here the gray plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as your Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help. Obliged. Va bene. Eh, tra l'altro non ci presentiamo con questi abiti insanguinati. Ok. Che è quello lì con lo scopettone. Hello? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Va bene. Andiamo dal signor da padron Bo. Senza sfasciargli che si epi, vediamo un po' e sarà qui dentro come no? <ride> vabbè eh. eccolo qua I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the Hulkers and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Ecco, questa è innamorata ovviamente della figlia dell'altra famiglia. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, eh, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. Attenzione. We've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case. <laughs> I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Va bene, va bene. Quindi... Ah, molto bene. Va bene, allora dobbiamo fare da cupido con questa strana coppia per questa rivisitazione di Romeo e Giulietta. Eh, C'era chi? Adesso arriva e lo stira. Niente, si è incastrata. Dov'è che sei? Ah, ok. Sì, ho capito. Va bene, cavalchiamo verso il tramonto. Che ne sono? Chi può dirlo?
Beh, non sarà una strada molto lunga se questi si fanno battaglia da un sacco di tempo devono essere abbastanza vicini ah, eccoci arrivati credo Questi hanno molti più ettari però eh. Se sei avvistabile più facilmente se resti in sella Va bene Non attaccare le guardie Questo inizia a diventare un problema eh. Allora buttiamoci nel fitto sottobosco qua ma che cacchio faccio ad arrivare? Ah, ok, quindi... Ah, ho capito. E qui siamo esattamente a sud. Di Rhodes. Ok, che è la, la, la zona che ci mancava da, da guardare. Allora, questi immagino che siano... No, queste sono guardie, questo non è niente. Quindi possiamo passare esternamente di qui. Certo che tenere d'occhio tutti questi ettari, diciamo, un tempo non era così semplice. Eh? C'è una guardia. Ma guarda un po' se devo fare cupido di nascosto. Forse passare di qui è la cosa migliore. Come non detto, lì c'è una guardia anche di là. Allora, andiamo... Mangiamo qualcosina. Selvaggina all'origano. E vai. Comunque quella guardia lì davanti non mi piace. Neanche un po'. Sarà lì nel gazebo a fare la, la principessa. Eccola qua, l'abbiamo trovata. Signorina? Signorina? Eccola qui. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a, a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, oh. will you give this to him? Sure. È finita, adesso questi incominciano e noi dovremo andare avanti e indietro. 
allontanati dall'area senza farti vedere questo però eh, questo <ride> può essere un problema mm. no vabbè posso costeggiare posso costeggiare vabbè gli rubo una barca e e proviamo così tanto c'è nebbia voglio dire chi mi vede? ok perfetto piano perfetto direi mettiamo qua Certo che però senza il cavallo, mannaggia. Allora, eh, bevilo per incrementare l'esperienza della resistenza. Ecco, ce l'abbiamo fatta. Eh, Cos'è qui? Ah, menta. Chissà se adesso c'era chi riesce a raggiungerci, oppure se dobbiamo raggiungere la piedi di corsa. Facciamo un po' di esperienza per la resistenza. Cos'è che luccica lì? Allora, uno è boh e l'altro è molli. Va bene, dovremmo parlare anche con Molly. Chi è? Testa di rame. Mm. Speriamo che non mi secchi. Eh, infatti. Eh, vabbè. Che mi ha tolto anche il cappello. Colpo mi ha dato. Veramente? Ma sei una grande, Cherokee. Grandissima, grandissima. Eccoci, signor Bo, signor Bo. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. <ride> per un attimo ci avevo sperato, il genio. Thank you. My god. What a woman. She's This will get a killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Vabbè, non facciamo uno sforzo, eh. No more running around. Per un pugno di dollari in più. Come on. We better get going. Che succede? Perché ho come la sensazione che non si metterà per niente bene? Easy boy, calm down. 
I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. No, dai. Ma porco il demonio, la guida automatica. Vediamo da dove ci fa ricominciare. Mount up, all right. Mm -hmm. Follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Niente, c'ho... C'ho voglia proprio di andare a sbattere, eh? Ok. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. Ah, ma non manifestare. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You Bene. know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob. We must be ah, la tipa. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Hooray, people are. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Bene. Siamo diventati attivisti. Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <laughs> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Mm. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Come on. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. Che <ride> bordello Ma cosa combineranno davanti alla banca? Attenzione, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, this 
is a great day for all of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equals are fair and equal. Tutto troppo bene il tipo. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Fair, equal and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Founding fathers, not founding mothers. You silly old goat. His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak ah, to me like that. Cugino, what are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always will. Bo, little... where are we just leave him? Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. <laughs> our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Hmm. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Sì, sei oh, un po' scemo, forse per quello che ti temono I fuori. I really love it. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Hmm. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Va bene, siamo a posto. Abbiamo schivato il cugino per un pelo. Pensavo avremmo fatto a botte subito. Okay, girl. Benissimo. Allora, vediamo cosa c'è rimasto da fare. Uh, dunque, abbiamo Dutch che se la passa bene con lo sceriffo. E poi che avevamo Molly. Molly? Sì. Molly va bene ragazzi, io per questa puntata direi di chiudere qui, sì sì sì, per questa puntata direi di chiudere qui e tornerò al campo e anzi io direi che visto che siamo in giro eh, potremo andare direttamente da Dutch, già mi, mi metto il segnalino qui, ok, Perfetto, quindi andiamo direttamente da Dutch e niente ragazzi io spero vi sia piaciuta questa puntata, ci ribecchiamo alla prossima, eh, se vi è piaciuta lasciatemi un like, iscrivetevi al canale per continuare a supportarmi e alla prossima cari, ciao ciao!